It's the first time a private company in Africa has invested in building and launching a satellite. And InSight-1, as it's known, is orbiting Earth and capturing images with a remote sensing camera. It took six months of design and construction. It involved most of the space-related companies operating in the country. The satellite is part of an of a international constellation of satellites or an international swarm of satellites which, is, which are used to measure the thermosphere of the, of the Earth. The space science sector is a tight-knit group of people and government is heavily involved in the sector. Nanosatellite launch actually just confirms that what we have started on, uh, we were on the right track and it really is the f coming to fruition of the hard work that we have put as government in partnership with our universities and other private sector players. The technology developed is an African first. The, the new generation payload, imager, imaging payload that, that uh, SES Space is pioneering on this particular satellite is using uh, new sensors which gives you extremely ex um, quality, good quality uh, Earth observation capability from such a small nano satellite platform. The Science and Technology Department sees other opportunities from telecommunications to security. When you look at security, um, you're looking at, for example, how space science can be used in terms of issues of uh, border patrol, etc. Uh, we've got huge uh, border areas. And uh, just to think that every time you're going to have soldiers moving around, it's not practical. So I think uh, we can really look at how space science can actually play a role there. On a broader level, stakeholders in the sector are keenly aware of developing talent. Satellite engineering as a, as a career sounds like a, like a foreign concept. Um, unless you can demonstrate that it is that you can reach it, that you can touch it. So a mission like the InSight-1 mission by SES Space is, is critical to make it real for, for, for young people who want to st consider studying engineering or computer science. Science and technology and bringing people into that environment is important for South Africa because it's going to ensure that the scientists of today are going to solve problems of tomorrow. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Pretoria, South Africa.